Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. And I want to let you know I appreciate each and every one of you. Tonight, what we're going to talk about is another tool by Synology that makes our lives as administrators so much easier. I love tools that just work. I can't even believe that this tool is free. Uh, I'm talking about the Synology CMS. And if you don't know what that is, that's a central management system. And what it allows you to do is manage a number of Synology units or just one from one location. So let's let's go over and take a look at that. We're in our Synology that we've been dealing with uh, in doing the software setup. So we're going to run over to the package manager and uh, we are going to search for CMS. And this is CMS right here and it's the Synology Central Management System. Like I said, I, can't, I cannot even believe that this thing is free. It brings so much power and flexibility to the way that we administer Synology servers. You're going to wonder why you weren't using this before. We're going to go ahead and click Install. It's going to go ahead and download the CMS software and install it. That's what it's working on right now. So as soon as that is installed, we'll get it open. And so we're running we'll go ahead and close package center and we will open CMS now this is the main CMS interface this is the overview so we would get some quick stats of servers we have joined and then we have management and storage and under management under the server tab this is where we're gonna see all the servers that we're gonna add we're gonna have notifications from the servers logs from the servers from here the update button we can actually update DSM on remote Synology units or the local Synology unit. We can also see all the packages that are installed and update. So a lot of you are like me and you don't do the auto update because you want that control and you're always watching to make sure things aren't going south with an update. So this gives you fine grained control. You can manage all of your Synology units from one place. It's fantastic. Group and policy is exactly what it sounds like. You can now apply uh, policies to groups of Synology servers across the board. So you can make setting changes to groups of Synologies from one place. Under storage, you're going to see shared folders. So we can see all of our shared folders on all of our Synology units. We can see all the volumes, all the disk groups, and all of the hard drives or SSDs. So let's hop right into it. We're going to add two units to this. So we're going to add, and you can search the local network. You can do an IP address, which we're going to do both of ours by IP addresses to keep things moving. And then the third option is you can actually search the local network for Synology units that you've taken out of the box, plug the Ethernet in, powered it on. It's got an IP address, but it hasn't installed DSM. You can actually push DSM to those units, those we'll call them pristine or virgin units, right from CMS. It's beautiful. I, Synology is, they just make our lives so easy. All right, so we're going to add a single server according to IP address, and we are going to do our server here first. And we're going to use that HTTPS and we're going to use my uh, admin account to do that and we are going to call this, we'll just call this the H5. We're going to click apply. We get this little loading screen and now you can see it's got the, the full host name so it's reached out. It sees the full host name. Here's our description. It is confirming. Then we've got the last update. It says just now. Then it's got the server address here and then we can add uh, version, model name, and serial number to the view. So I don't know if I can stretch this window a little bit. There we go. So once it collects all the information about this, and so now you can see uh, that it is, we've joined this host to the CMS. So we got that. And come back over here to overview. You can see we've got one server online, and it's still pulling all of that information. So while it's updating the data here, let's do the uh, one over um, at Tim's house. So again, we're going to click Add. 
single server according to IP. We're going to do 192.168.42.25. We're going to do HTTPS and the username and password should be the same. So it is reaching out over that VPN connection right now and talking to the Synology server uh, over at Tim's house. All right, so you can see the host name. We've got the IP address there. It's Tim's side. We are confirming. So on the H5 side, uh, real quick, you can see that the uptime is 32 minutes because I did uh, reboot. We were last updated uh, two minutes ago. Here's our DSM, our model number, serial number. And so now you can see it's updated all of the information on Tim's side, or not all of it, it's still updating, but we've got the Synology name, of course the description, IP, same information. And uh, so we click on our host here and we get all of the hardware information, all the volume information, all the applications that are installed. So we can click on Tim's and this information is not loaded yet, but once it is loaded, we'll be able to see all that. So now that we've got some servers in there, let's take a look. We don't have any notifications popping through yet, so we've got some logs. And these are informational logs, and the user was WHOW, and I joined the server to the CMS host. So all of our logs are going to start. Uh, so now if we go over to the package update, you can see where the packages from mine uh, are starting to show up and that they they need updates so I could update all I could just select one and select update if there was a DSM update available we would be able to do it from here We can see our packages like we just talked about Let's see if we've got any more logs so it's gonna take a little bit of time for everything to kind of uh, come together you can see that on Tim's side it's still um, updating the data so down here, under our group and policy, under all servers, we see both of our Synology servers. So what we can do is we can click on this all servers and we can hit view rules. And there have been no rules yet applied. So from here, we can create another server group or we can create a policy. And we'll just call this policy test and we'll hit edit. And now we can go through all of the options and um, we get, we'll just do something simple. Um, so like under connections, auto block, we will turn auto block on. We'll enable auto block. If you get it five bad attempts within five minutes, it's going to block the IP address. And then we are going to enable block expiration after one day. So we'll go ahead and click apply on that. And so now you can see this policy is under the all servers. So if I hit view rules, what it's going to do is it's going to take all the extraneous information that we didn't set up and get rid of it so that we can just see exactly what is in our policy or policies. So right now we just have one policy that we push and that was under auto block and you can see here in red it says policy test and this is everything that we configured now this is in a read only mode I can't change it here so you can see how advantageous this is if you need to push different types of policies and standards to your Synologies from one place and you can group these so you could have different groups so if admin or marketing or whoever you know different marketing groups you can group everything by marketing if you've got things that are just for storing pictures and you don't really care about it um, and and you you know the policies are different than where you're storing your financial documents then you can group those and you can apply different policies so we're going to go ahead and delete that policy. And we'll just see. Okay, so under the log now, you see where I edited the server group, I created the policy, and then uh, I deleted the policy. So the logging is all working there. And all right, so let's go down to shared folder.
So now, um, under my Synology, you can see all of my shared folders. Under Tim's, you can see all of Tim's shared folders, and we get all of the information we need here. We can go to Volumes. We can take a look at the volume. You can see we're uh, both running the Synology Hybrid RAID uh, with data protection. So we can see all of the information. If we click on the volume, we can drill down and see the disks in each one. Now we have identical units, so uh, you're going to see identical disks there. Um, we don't have any disk groups av available, but then here uh, we can see all of the hard drives and all of the Synology units in one place. Model, um, the size, the t current temperature, the type, it is a hard drive, not a uh, not an SSD, it is on the SATA bus, our smart, our status. So you can really see, we go back to, to overview, right? So now, boom, right here, right on the main page, we've got two servers online that are made up of four hard drives with two healthy volumes, but there are 10 packages that need to be updated. So we can come back over here to update. Go to package update, and you can see that Tim needs pretty much the identical um, updates as to what we need because I'm actually managing both of these. So um, I could tell this to update all of the packages right now, or I could select these one at a time. So I'm not going to do those updates right at the moment, but well, maybe, maybe I'll do one. So I'll click on Tim's and I'll hit update and you're going to see that it's processing and it's going to go through and is going to update the universal search package. So I will end up updating all of these um, here tonight, but we're going to let this run the CSM. Once again, it is a fantastic tool. If you, if you manage multiple Synology devices, that are storage devices, you should definitely check into CSM. It will make your life much easier. We manage dozens of these um, and we do it all from one place. We get notifications and it's it's just makes your life so much easier. So that is it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, if you need consulting for Synology, Grandstream, Ubiquity, Microtik, the list goes on and on. So basically networking, voiceover, IP, and security, you can go to h5llc.com down there, fill out the contact form, and someone will get back with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to purchase anything that you see us use here on the channel, there is an Amazon affiliate shop down there. As always, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for being here, and we'll see you in the next video.